The next relationship between two of the three state variables, namely pressure and temperature, is known as the Gay-Lussac's law, but it's actually Amonton who discovered it. So somebody kind of lost out on the recognition of this discovery. Now, the way that works is, there's, uh, for example, let's say we have a glass flask, and within it we have a gas. And at, uh, at the end of that flask, of the tube, we have like a small little rubber tube maybe. We fill that with mercury, and we uh, hook it up somewhere. And so as we heat up the gas, the gas will try to expand. Um, so it'll cause the pressure to build up against the mercury. The mercury will shift, go a little higher like this lower over here indicating greater pressure but since the tube is so small in volume the difference in the total volume of the gas is in, <clears throat> insignificant and so therefore in this particular respect we kind of keep the, the uh, volume constant so here's a situation where the volume is kept constant and what happens is we can measure the pressure if we put up a scale right here and <clears throat> if the height of the scale indicates the difference in the pressure we can see then as the temperature increases the pressure increases and so when we put that on a uh, on a uh, pressure temperature diagram what happens then of course is as the <clears throat> temperature increases the pressure increases when we draw a line between those two points we find out that there's a linear relationship between the pressure and the temperature in such a way that we can find a function the pressure is a function of temperature that will look something like y equals mx plus b one of those linear equations again again what they did was they said what if we extrapolate out what if we keep on dropping the temperature which of course they couldn't do to a very uh, large amount they didn't have the capability back then but if they extrapolated out they found out that as the temperature kept on decreasing eventually when the temperature reached minus 273 degrees centigrade they then said wow at that point the pressure will be zero so again there was this very interesting relationship the equation of course is going to look something like this that the pressure which is a function of uh, temperature is equal to some uh, some slope times the horizontal variable the t and of course the slope will be the change in the pressure divided by a hundred degrees so if you consider this here the change in the pressure the difference in the pressure between the pressure at 100 degrees and the pressure at zero degrees and you divide that by 100 degrees you get that slope and of course we have the y-intercept or in this case the pressure intercept of p sub naught when the temperature is zero so that would be the equation describing the relationship between the pressure and the temperature in this particular setup and that's known as nowadays Gay-Lussac's law but actually should have been called the Amonton's law. So here again we have this relationship between two of the three phase variables, in this case pressure and temperature.